This video will introduce you to the Jan Teller effect. The Jan Teller theorem is actually quite complex sounding, but in fact, it's fairly easy to recognize when it will apply. The Jan Teller theorem says that for a, a nonlinear molecule in an electronically degenerate state, the molecule will distort to remove the degeneracy, lower the symmetry, and lower the energy of the complex. So although that's quite a mouthful, the takeaway is pretty simple. That is that molecules with certain electron counts can achieve a lower energy by distorting. So that means deviating from an ideal geometry. Remember that in an octahedral complex, the bonds between all six ligands should be identical. But in a distorted complex, two of the bonds might be longer than the others. That would be a distortion. So how will we know when a complex should distort? Well, let's look at one example where there is a distortion. Imagine that we had a high spin D4 octahedral complex. The electrons would be arranged as are shown on the left. You can see that this is, uh, the electron arrangement is actually degenerate. The fourth electron could have been put in the dz squared orbital just as easily as the dx squared minus y squared. Therefore, it is in an electronically degenerate ground state. The Jan Teller theorem tells us that the molecule will distort to lower this uh, the energy of the complex by lowering the symmetry. So imagine that we start pulling out the two ligands that are on the dz squared or should the dz axis. If this is the case, the ligands on that axis will get further from the metal center and therefore will go down in energy because any electrons in the dz squared orbital are now less repelled by the ligand electrons. Similarly, the dx squared minus y squared orbital will go up in energy. But look at what happens to the total energy of those four electrons. More or less nothing happens to the three electrons that are in the T2G set. But the fourth electron goes down in energy by minus 0.5 little delta. In other words, that electron is less repelled by the ligand electrons. Therefore, the metal complex gains more stable um, stability through that distortion. So when should we expect to see Jan Teller distortions? Basically, we will see them whenever the degeneracy is in a, the set of orbitals that is most directly pointed at the ligands. So for an octahedral complex, that's the EG star set. If we have a degeneracy in the T2G set of an octahedral complex, that does not produce tangible effects. So although we might predict that a D1 octahedral complex would be on Teller distorted, because the degeneracy is not in orbitals that are pointed at the ligands, not much happens. So what effects are observed? We'll see more about that today, but it will involve changes in bond lengths, reaction rates, spectroscopy, and possibly other events. So the Jan Teller theory and its applications in transition metal chemistry are just another example of the adage, uh, when in doubt of what a transition metal complex is going to do or what it's going to behave like, draw a d orbital splitting diagram and place the electrons pro properly within it. Often, analysis of this diagram will help us understand what the complex is going to do.